welcome everybody to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am here to answer questions about your life and help you connect with loved ones on the other side. So if you want to connect with me for a private session, please go to my website, tonig.info or call 414-897-2869. There are a lot of people out there pretending to be um, people on YouTube. So protect yourself and on Instagram and other social media sites. So just make sure that if you're trying to connect with me, you're connecting with me. I will never, ever, ever reach out to anybody and ask them if they want a service or to donate to me or to anything. I don't reach out to people, not even my friends. I know it's it seems sad, but it's not. It's not sad. <laughs> Some people be busy. What can I say? Some people just be busy. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to be taking calls live. Um, so if you want to call in live every Monday at noon, I am here. And the number for the call in is 845-277-9131. I'm going to start today's show with a clearing for everybody listening and re-listening. And that clearing is for self-love. So we have unconditional love for ourselves. I get a no. I'm going to start clearing that or healing that. And when I say me, I mean the angels are going to come in and take out the energy that has caused you to maybe not unconditionally love yourself. That energy that has put you in that space of being uh, judgmental of yourself or others. And most people would say they don't judge themselves. They would say they um, they have forgiven themselves. But but we really we hold on to things and. From my experience, when someone uh, is in, let's just use a relationship, and things go wrong, they tend to blame themselves. Unless, of course, they're a narcissist. Then they always blame everybody else, and they never take responsibility for themselves. But we're not talking about the narcissist today. We're talking about people who actually have a conscience and use it. <laughs> Now, don't come at me for that comment. I'm not talking about anybody specifically, but if you're a narcissist, you will come at me because you'll think I'm talking about you. So second guess that action. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are laughing just as much as I am at this point. Okay. Now, uh, so unconditional love. What, and, and then we don't forgive ourselves because we think we should have known better. I should have known better than to be in a relationship with this person. I should have left at this point. Why didn't I? And we're just judging ourselves left, right, and the other way. So let's do this. Um, we're going to clear, and that means the angels are going to come in, heal, take any old energy, causing us to not have unconditional love for self. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, the random person whose name is actually Heidi. Good morning, everybody on YouTube. If you want to leave a message for me on the YouTube chat, please go right ahead and do that. I will try to give you a shout out. If you ask a question, I will try to get to that question. If you want to call in, um, the number again is 845 277 9131. And I will be getting to callers as soon as I possibly can. Good morning. A dollar, a, a dollar, a joke. I feel like I have to say that in a way that is kind of hip, like um, urban, like a dollar, a joke. And I know you don't say it like that. I don't know. Maybe you do say it like that, but I feel like I need to say it like that. Good morning, everybody. Um, Okay, your your mirror just cracked. That's good. Now, we have so many superstitions. You, that is, thank you, Adela, a joke. Um, that is good. I'm happy you said that. We have so many superstitions and so many things in this world that, that hinder us and make us think, oh, you know, 
If a black cat passes in front of us, some people think that's good luck. Some people think it's bad luck. It's just a black cat. Okay. If a mirror breaks or cracks, it's bad luck for so many years or good luck. I'm just going to say if a mirror cracks, that's just, it's just a mirror that cracked. That's it. And, and maybe that's a joke. Maybe he's just telling a joke because his title is a dollar a joke. But the I'm going to do, we have superstitious beliefs. I get a yes. And we're going to clear that because even astrologically, I wish I would have never found this out. Somebody told me when Mercury goes retrograde, which means it slows down or rotates backwards. Can a planet even do that? I don't know. But I wish I never knew that because I say, don't sign contracts. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't. How do you even live your life? What if you're a salesperson? What do you go two or three, however many weeks it is without like ever signing a contract? That's just unrealistic to me. That's a thing I wish somebody would have never, ever told me. Okay, I'm going to go to callers again. I'm going to take callers. Uh, callers, if I call out your area code, please, number one, take me off a of speakerphone. N number two, uh, have a one, one question or one connection available. Please, your question should not be, tell me about my love life. Tell me about my next three to six months. Mm -mm. A very quick, direct question because I want to get to as many people as possible today. If you want to connect with somebody on the other side, have a specific person ready and their relationship. I don't need their last name, just their first name and their relationship to you. You're not the only caller I'm taking today. And I don't, I, I want to be efficient and be fair to the people who are calling. There are people who call in for months and never connect with me. And so let's let's do this thing. Here we go. I'm going to go to the first caller, um, 917. Hey, 917, how are you today? I am great. Thanks for taking my call, Tony. Uh, my name is Tim, calling from New York. Uh, I think we spoke months ago. I got a quick direct question just on this abundance of a new job or a new situation I'm working on bringing in. Uh, try to do the visualization. It's a little hard when you don't know exactly what you want that job to be. So I try to concentrate on how I want it to make me feel. You just ask my guides for any assistance. Uh, if you have any tips or words of spirit for me, it's greatly appreciated. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, your name is Tim, right? Okay, t sorry. I got everything else. I did. I did get everything else. Tim, one of the things I'm picking up for you is yes, you are going to get a position with a company, but even more importantly, I I get that you're supposed to be self-employed at some point. You're supposed to be taking off with your own venture. Now, I don't know if this came out. Probably it did not come out on the last read, and maybe that's why you're connecting with me again. I am going to tell you something's going to come in. I'm hearing within a week, but I always like to give it a little bit more time. Um, so I'm going to say within a month, but they're saying within a week, something's going to come in that's going to like be that like light bulb idea or light bulb thing that makes you say, oh my God, I could do this. I could do it. The only thing standing between you and 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 doing it and being successful at it would be a little bit of fear. So, okay, okay, this was another thing I was supposed to say at the beginning of my show that I didn't because I just like kind of blew off my notes. Um, we are about to go into a evolution. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm channeling, so I'm going with it, of new businesses, independent business owners, um, a, a new phase where there are going to be a lot of people starting up their own businesses and doing them in a very unique and powerful way. I feel like, uh, Tim, if for you, being a manifestation master is one thing I'm hearing. Now, whether that means 
you you start a business on your own that helps other people manifest or you just manifest this business into existence the one thing i'm hearing for you is you are a manifest manifestation master you can think things into this realm but again it comes down to belief and letting go of fear once you have this idea, which again, I'm hearing is going to come in in approximately a week, you're going to run with it. Now, I do want to say I do feel like there is also a position with a company coming in and maybe you have this position with this company while you do your business, while you start your 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 startup. Not every business has to be a brick and mortar. Not every business has to be a, a big, you know, startup. Some things start up one-on-one. -on -one. That's how it's done. It just starts one-on-one. -on -one. I was, I had a client the other day and um, I was telling her, and this came through very strong for her, but I think we need this in today's world. And I'm putting it out here for whomever else this touches to start a prayer business. And this business would basically be somebody calls you and wants you to pray with them just out of the Bible for wealth, for success, for health, for whatever it is that you want to bring in your life. And it, it, whatever your religious is, religion is, you can use whatever text, whether it be... Um, Judaism or Catholicism or whatever it is um, to do this. Now, if you're not religious and you're spiritual, good. That's great. You can still help people manifest in the way that they would want to manifest and state those words. Spell Spelling is basically stating things into being. And so as we do that, as we move forward over the next couple of years, and our world is changing, not only the U.S., but many parts of the world are changing, there is going to be an evolution and a revolution in the way business is done, okay? So you might be part of the, uh, the pioneer group that takes off and starts your own thing that helps people start their own thing whether that's through manifesting or another um, another way. Tim, I hope this helps you. I know it probably was not what you were expecting when you called in, but it is what you're getting today. So I really do hope this helps you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I look forward to hearing from you again. And I'm going to go directly to 780. Hello, 780. How are you today? Good. Thanks, Tony, for taking my call. It's Jay from Canada. Hey, Jay. I've been thinking a lot about you. How have you been? I'm doing fine. Just uh, lots of things going on work and things. And I just look forward to your wisdom that you can share with everybody else on the line. So thank you much for thinking of me. I was actually thinking about you, <laughs> too. It's like, there's a reason, you know? There's a reason. So thank you much again. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Jay, how can I help you today? I do have a wisdom question, and I was trying to get on the show last time, but you had so many people on the line, I couldn't get on. So my question is, is there a difference between self-love and self-worth according to what your, your books, uh, your child writings are, or do you have anything to say about that right now? Yeah, I want to say, um, so if I'm channeling, and I'm going to try to channel this so I don't kind of mess it up. Uh, when we have unconditional self-love, the self-esteem, self-acceptance, self-worth, all the selves should be there. It's not always, always accurate, but sometimes people work on like, oh, I feel like I don't have self-esteem or I, I feel like I don't know my worth. So they work on that and eventually they get to unconditional self-love. Now, I, I think when we have unconditional self-love, we're in that space where we know our worth, we know our value, we've accepted ourselves unconditionally. Um, there is no good 
good, bad, or indifferent. We just are. We're here on a journey and we're fulfilling that journey and we know it. So there's no judgment. There's no reason to feel worth less or less worth than somebody else. So I want to say thank you for that question. I love that question. And again, I'm going to double down on the unconditional self-love because I think that is the most important thing. We are here to learn um, to, to, we come in having unconditional love, love for the self and through our journey, our soul's journey, uh, we lose that. We start to let that go. So things happen in our life and it goes. So I'm going to double down on this unconditional self love. We have unconditional. So we're going to keep clearing that out. Anything stopping or blocking that, we want to clear this to a yes, that unconditional self-love is there. And I, I'm going to say, because we've all had lives that have been very, very interesting, we haven't just had one thing happen. You might need to listen to this and re-listen to this um, clearing again and again. Um, so to answer your question, I think once we have that unconditional self-love, we have self-worth and self-acceptance. I hope that's helpful, love. Yes, it falls under the umbrella of that. So, Al, thank you for your beautiful soul and beautiful wisdom today. Oh, and thank, uh, thank you for sharing for your wisdom today. So much love and thanks for thinking about me. I was, that's probably the reason why I've called into the show today. So we have that heart connection or whatever that is. So yeah. across time and space. So blessings to you. Blessings to you too, Jay, and thank you for listening, and uh, until next time, stay safe and stay happy. I'm going to go to the next caller, who is 509. 509, how are you today? Hi, and good morning, Tony. My name is Erica. Okay, and where are you calling from, Erica? I'm calling from Washington State. Excellent. How can I help you today? Um, I just kind of wanted to channel um, um, somebody on, like, my guides or something. Um, just, I okay, wanted to okay. know where, like... Mm -hmm. no, go ahead. Go ahead. I wanted to know, um, like, guidance on, like what career would be like I where I would be like successful and like I would like it or like any advice on that <laughs> career wise. Okay. okay Erica how old are you love? Uh, twenty seven. <laughs> All right. Um so here's what I'm gonna tell you. Um I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing, and then we'll go from there. The first thing I heard is book, 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 book. So book can mean the obvious thing, write a book, right? Write a book. I, I don't know that that's going to bring you all of your success in life. For some people, they write a book, instant New York Times bestseller. But book could also mean that you book people for trips or you book people for events. I don't know. What I am going to tell you is there are some things that are going to come in over the next month that are going to change the direction of your life. Um, within two weeks, okay, within two weeks, you're going to get some spiritual guidance. You really, really need to listen to it. Uh, you have you, I need to ask you, because the next thing I hear is boutique. Have you, I know this sounds crazy, but boutiques are not just little shops with trinkets. They're also like you can have a reading boutique or something like that. Have you ever thought about some sort of, I don't know how to, a boutique or does this even make sense to you? I don't even know. Does this make sense to you? <laughs> No, I, I've never thought about, I mean, I know what a boutique is, but it's like a little store with clothes. Some boutiques, 
some boutiques are <laughs> some boutiques are little store. They're a little store with like trinkets or high end clothes or whatever it is. But you can also do like a supernatural boutique. Uh, or a woo woo boutique, or a, a boutique is anything that you love that you have a space for. Okay, like a a boutique of of books, okay. like any. It doesn't have to be clothes. It can be anything you love, anything okay. at all. So the two things I'm getting oh, for okay. you are the first thing I heard is book, and I don't know what that means for you. Only you will know what that means for you. And the second thing I heard is boutique. In a, within two weeks, you're going to get more information guiding you. Now, I am going to tell you, I know people used to tell me all the time I was supposed to do this work. But, you know, I've been doing this since I was a kid. Things just fly out of my mouth. And I didn't think it was, was anything special. Let me put it that way. I was like, no, this is just the way I talk. This is my conversation. This is how things come out of me. Why would, you know, this is just normal for me there's it's something like that for you it's right in front of your face but you're not seeing it and probably people have told you you're supposed to do this um or you're very passionate about it but you haven't really uh thought about it seriously and i, I also want to say just on the boutique end there are nail boutiques and that doesn't necessarily mean doing somebody's nails. That could be just a ton of nail items. And there are hair boutiques. And again, it doesn't mean doing somebody's hair. It means uh, maybe just hair accessories. I don't know what this means for you. All I know is what I'm. the two main things I'm getting are boot, book and then boutique. And within the next two weeks, more information is going to come through that is going to help you understand better what your path is supposed to be. I'm also getting that you already kind of have an idea of it and you just need to make that move, take that jump. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, caller 516. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, Tony? I'm good. What's your name? Where are you calling from, love? This is Rosie, and I'm calling from New York. Okay, Rosie, how can I help you today? So, Tony, I have been trying to look for a new job um, for a very long time. Um, I'm trying to stay positive. <laughs> um, I don't know, you know, I'm trying to transition out of this industry into another industry and, like, just transfer my skills to be an executive assistant. Um, I've been applying, and I'm just calling to see if something okay. the if first I'm going thing, to find a new job. Yeah, the first thing I'm getting for you, love, is um, it's not going to make sense the way I say it at first, but it will make sense. It, it, I get redirect, 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 which would fit yep. with you changing your career. But I also get there's an oper there's a, there might be a chance for you to relocate. I feel like. And I know this might not. Um, okay, I'm, I'm getting one more thing. But first, I'm going to talk about the relocate thing. Sometimes it's not practical for people to relocate, but sometimes it's not feasible for them to stay where they are. Okay, so it might not be practical okay. financially to relocate. You might say, how the heck am I going to relocate, like, you know, financially and yada, yada, yada. But it might not be feasible, like where you are, if you're looking for a position where you show up or work remotely for somebody as an executive assistant in your area, that might not be feasible, okay? Because maybe there, there's just not enough people working in your area right now for you to find that position. So one way or another, if you're determined... Uh, to to show up to oh, somebody. Tony, I can't hear you. Can you speak a little louder? I'm sorry. One way or another, if you're determined to show up at somebody's business and have a job, you may need to relocate. Now, the other thing I'm getting 
if you decide to become an independent executive assistant and reach out to people and do it from home um, and, and run it yourself, just put an ad out there, executive assistant available, you will find something, but you will not be employed for these people. It'll be more of a contract sort of agreement okay. where you can work from okay. home. Uh-huh. Where, okay, do you see me getting a new job? <laughs> okay, so I already answered this question, kind of. Um, and I, I know it might not be the answer that you want. I know it might not. I'm going to say again, if you stay where you are, it might not be feasible for you to get a position where you show up there. Okay? You may need to relocate if you want to get a position. If you're not willing to relocate, you may need to start offering your services as an independent contractor. Okay, I'm going to go to 270. Hello, 270. How are you today? I'm fine. Hello, Tony. This is Joy. Hey, Joy. How are you? <laughs> Hello. I'm pretty good. How are you? Oh. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to ask if I could connect to my grandma. Oh, anyway. of course. Okay, so your grandma's here, your grandpa's here, and I'm going to tell you, they come in so strong and so solid for you every time. Now, I need to ask you, Joy, there's a, I want to say, I you might not even know about this, but there's a younger child showing up with them. Now, I don't know if you're uh -huh. familiar with who this younger child might be, but there's a younger child showing up with them. And the the general message today is we're all together. We're all together. We're all together. Now, the other thing they want to tell you is um, I don't understand what this statement means, and it's okay if you laugh at me. Get on with your getting on. Get on with your getting on. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> I got a lot of so many things. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever heard that before. <laughs> but the statement is: get on with your getting on. So whatever, I'm going to guess that they're saying whatever you want to do, whatever you've started, get on with it. K mm -hmm. Keep it going. Don't stop. And then I'm hearing Michael Jackson's song, don't stop with the uh -uh. don't stop till you get enough. I don't, I don't even know all the, all the words to that song. Okay. I'm sorry. I promised I would try not to sing on my show anymore, but there it is. I just sang on the show again. Okay, I'm going to tell you they want to say that they're sending you a support system to help you move forward in the area that you want to move forward in. Okay? Okay. So they're sending a right. support system. It can mean a little bit of financial help. They're saying if it is financial help, allocate it appropriately or a person that helps right. you out and gives you direction, okay? So that's what they want you to know today. Okay. But they're saying, make your moves. Don't Stop procrastinating, make your moves, okay, love? I'm here for it. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Joy. I'm gonna keep you on the line while I sign out here. I wanna tell everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm here every Monday at noon for 30 minutes. I will be back next Monday, and please remember, it is your job to create the miracles in your life.